Welcome Scorpio. This is your reading for May 2024. So we're back on the island and I'm about to do this reading for you. But before we begin, I'm going to ask that we're surrounded by pure white light. And I'm going to ask to have your higher self come forth today to give you the information that you need to hear for your highest good and the highest good of everyone else concerned. Okay, and remember, this is your reading. So my signs and symbols Maybe I may say mean one thing, but for you, it may mean something else. So remember, it's your reading. Whatever the meanings pertain to you, that's important. You go for what it means, what resonates with you. Okay, you are in control. You have the power. So let's just see what's coming up and let's begin. All right. See what's going on for the month of May. Exciting month of May. Rules. Okay. So that's showing up for you. It's maybe time to start putting some rules down. Um, or maybe you need to be, be more strict with yourself. But we'll see why this is coming up. It's not a bad card. Okay. Let's just see what the rule is. Why it's coming up. Could be you need to start putting down rules. Okay, so this card is talking about driving through the rain, um, trying to navigate, okay, in difficult situations. And so this card is telling me that it is time for you to start um, taking control and being in command and, and putting some boundaries down there, creating some rules. Now, whether these are rules with um, your children that maybe you've been a little lenient right now, but you, it's talking about maybe you need to start laying the law down a little more. Okay. Um, it also can be with, um, you know, boundaries with friendships of people maybe taking advantage of you. And it's time for you to, I, you know, get tough. Okay. You really, because it's about your protection, your safety right now. And also for other people's protection and safety, it's really good that you would start putting those boundaries up and creating those rules. And I love that because it kind of uh, is the beginning of the month, May, you start by the end of the month, things will fall into place. There'll be a, um, a routine, so it won't be so um, strict. Let's see. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other card I get is reunion. So if you are, you know, hearing from a friend who tends to call you last minute and, and expects you to drop everything and do what they want, this is, again, talking about the rules of saying, you know what, I can't do that. Put up your boundaries and say, but I'm available another time. It feels like maybe in this situation, you're, you're always the one accommodating the person who you haven't seen in a while. So that being said, time to get tough with that okay if they're your friend it's not going to matter in the end whether you you can't make that or, or you know you need to be get the upper hand a bit sometimes you can let people take advantage of you okay and let me see a little more and it, it also can be with family it doesn't have to be a friend but there is going to be some kind of um request to get together reunion with somebody you haven't seen in a while family or friend and you really need to lay the, the, the ground rules. You know, maybe it's going to be that they say it has to be at your house. Well, you know what? Maybe it doesn't have to be at your house. Maybe it's time to navigate, you know, set those boundaries and say, no, it's not going to be at my house. Maybe we are going to go to a restaurant instead because you don't want to have to take care of everything like you always do. Yeah, reject. Okay. And there may be some fear of you feeling they're going to reject you if you put your foot down, lay the ground rules. But you got to start now, okay? Because this has been going on for a while. This is the, the long road. Okay, if you don't start, it's going to continue forever, <laughs> okay? I mean, not forever, but I just mean it. You know it's been going on for a while, so why not? They're not going to reject you. It's, it may be a little uncomfortable to have to do this, but in the long run, you're going to be so much more happier. You know, it's almost like when people say, oh, you know, the holidays, it's always going to be at your house. And you're like, why is it always my house? It needs to be at your house. We'll say that it's time. No matter what, 
even if they get a little ornery about it. Yep, <laughs> they're being very honest today. Okay, so this is the letter, this is the invitation. So now I'm telling you, it's time to lay down the rules about you know the invitation or whatever that that um, meeting is that you have to do with family or friends. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, well, wow, wow, you have some. <laughs> Now this can also be again with spouses too. It you know exes. If there was an ex relationship, okay, I'm going to also throw this out too. Now for those of you, if this re, if you are offered a reunion with an ex, okay, and you're going to hear from them, okay, there. I just want to say this now. There is a reason why they were your ex, okay, and pertaining to that, they hurt you once, okay. This card is betray. They hurt you once. So what does that mean? You don't go back for a second time. This is a card saying wave goodbye. So if you do hear from an ex who is trying to get the reunion again, you can meet with them. You decide where the meeting place is, but chances are this is not going to be the best solution for you. Again, you have free will. You don't have to listen to this. This may mean something different to you, you know. Uh, you could see this as you're waving hello to them, but I see it as that you should be waving goodbye to them again. And also, in, in, I'm just going to put that out there. So we have, you know, a lot going on here. Very blunt messages for sure. But I want to end this with, you got the good fortune card. Okay, so that is wonderful. If you decide to set your boundaries, you know, decide that what's acceptable for you and what's not acceptable and let your voice be known, the good fortune card comes to you. So this is about making changes about wonderful things. So it's up to you. I'm really excited because the, the universe is giving you a little heads up about some change you can make and what wonderful things can happen for you. But again, you have to, you know, interpret it for if that means this for you. Um, and if it does, just giving you a great message. Um, but you always have free will. You can always go left or right, whatever works for you. And maybe the timing isn't right for you. But right now for May, this is what um, the cards are telling you for this month. So I hope this makes sense to you. Please let me know how it works for you. Like, if this is the first time you are watching this video, please subscribe. And I also have YouTube Daily Shorts with little hummingbird messages. My little friends are flying around the yard for me and sending out messages that I'm sharing. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful May.